Welcome, welcome one all to the next video. So today we are definitely going to take advantage of a bunch of the new things in the update, the amazing update of which I have made a video on. So make sure if you don't know everything that's in the update, make sure and check that out. Now, the, what was that? What is, oh, those are, are those tomatoes? Yeah, okay. That, I didn't recognize the model because they updated a bunch of models or maybe I've just never seen tomatoes on the ground in this game. It just looks very odd. It looked like there was something glitching out of the floor. But yeah, anyways, so there's a bunch of stuff we can take advantage of. We can take advantage of the update to the monitoring stand. We can take advantage of, let's see. There's, there's, they added so much in at once. It's actually hard to like keep up. So we have like the ore mining site that we want to put down, which basically invalidates our base at the really nice ore site. So this base here, we could probably get rid of. And I'm thinking instead, because now there's a bunch of new piles that we can add to the ranch. So we can palm, we can palm, we can farm pile fluids. We can farm something else that we really wanted. <laughs> um, oh, dew mud. Dew mud definitely. Oh yeah, dew mud drops high quality pal oil. So we want to farm those two. But the thing is, we don't have enough space. So yeah, that base that we're gonna get rid of, we're gonna have to put somewhere else. And I'm thinking that's gonna be like our ranching base. I'm thinking maybe we use that as like a ranch and breeding base, which I think would be good because then we could do like some sort of cool design, you know? Have it look like a little bit of a, I wanna say sanctuary, but. After our visit to this sanctuary, I feel like that's the wrong term. Should be called a murder zone. Uh, I guess it's a sanctuary because all the rare piles are there. <laughs> but yeah, you always expect a sanctuary to be like a really nice place. But anyways, oh, why do they keep dropping vegetables just here? I guess they're all running towards the fridge now. Because if you don't know, you can now change the items accepted in chess, which includes the feed box, by the way. So I just removed ingredients. So we no longer just have a bunch of random raw materials going into our feed box. So that's why they were just ru running back and forth to the fridge, which is actually really nice. The only thing is, I feel like I should remove the fridge. But anyways, all right. So first step. Let's see, what do we not want a lot of our pals doing, right? So, for example, we don't want... Okay, so Anubis, you can do handiwork, sure, fine. And you can do transport. Jormantide, you can do watering. Let's see, blaze hull, you... We, I don't ever want to see a blaze hull hitting a tree ever again, all right? That's upsetting. All right, nobody... We don't want anybody hitting the trees. We don't... You can do transport. Oh! Okay, yeah. Well, yeah, at, at first I thought, it, does it apply to the PAL type? Like the PAL species? But no, no, no. I, I had said this before when I was doing the actual update video. Let's see. Petalia, you can do whatever. Petal Petalia is more of like a all around day, you know, which is really nice. Mazarina, <laughs> Mazarina doesn't do anything except <laughs> graze all day, which I like. And then Wampo Botan. Wait, you're a breeder, so it doesn't really matter. But wait, okay, but the thing is, because the breeding pen doesn't really have an assignment, you can't really assign them. You you can't, like, tell them to focus on the breeding pen, but I wonder if you just, like, X everything else out, if that helps. We'll see. We'll leave them, f like, this for now, and we'll see. But yeah, Dinosaur, you can hit a tree if there's no electricity. And then Chickapea, there's no reason for you... To be harvesting, all right? The, you, you don't do anything. You just need to sit at the ranch. All right. Nice. So we have that done. Now, the next thing I want... Uh, well, the thing is, for us to unlock a bunch of these things, like all the, the new ancient technologies, we need... Okay, so we need points, first of all. So we need to go to some sort of boss or cave, for sure. And then we need ancient civilization cores. Now, the ancient civilization cores... I believe we get them from caves and just like chests in general. I really want this electric egg incubator though. So <laughs> I'm wondering, do we want to go make a new ranch first, like a ranch base? Or do we want to go caving? 
Kiwi. Yeah, okay. The answer is obviously Kiwi because that's way more fun. Uh, I mean, it is annoying that we aren't going to, like, increase our efficiency, but, like, whatever. We have so many materials at this point. I don't really think it matters too much. No, the only thing is, I feel like I should put on more pizza if we can. What are we missing for pizza? Flour. Okay. That's easy. We have unlimited flour. Like, we have so much wheat. The only thing is, I feel like I'm not able to get the pass to transport things from the crafting stations. I couldn't get it in the video. I don't know if it's bugged or if I'm doing something wrong. So, that has to be investigated. One other thing we can do is we can make four legendary spheres. That was, um, it was very exciting. I, I'm very happy we did that. Okay. I will stop being a sarcastic asshole for 10 seconds. No. Let's see, is there anything we want to make here? No. But one thing, what we should do, 100%, is because we need power fluids, you get the power fluids from farming kelpsy. We should have some kelpsies, right? Is kelpsy really this far down? Okay, we have, do we really have one kelpsy? What about kelpsy ignis? Oh, kelpsy ignis drops flame organ. Was that always the case? I actually have no idea. All right. So let's put a Kelpsy. We don't need this many eggs. I could tell you that much. So Kelpsy, I'm going to put you here. And then all I want you doing, Kelpsy. And this is where the monitoring stand is going to keep coming in handy over and over. All we have to do is set the wood preferences. So we go down to Kelpsy. And we just be like, yo, cut that shit out. Don't water anything. All right, nice. Now we should have a Kelpsy. Yeah, look at that. Already at the ranch grazing happily. So I'm happy with that. Now, do we really care about eggs at this point? I mean, we know that these are going to hatch menace things, right? Yeah. But runner, swift, positive thinker, though. Meh. And then, yeah, we eventually we will get a perfect menace thing and then we will breed it into something else. So run and swift on that. Meh. Okay. So let's. I did see that we discovered a new boss. Where is it? Oh, yeah, there's a level, a level 11 Gumas. I mean, sure. Why not? Can we do... Didn't we get clapped by this King Paka Chris last time? I don't think we can actually do that. We could maybe do the Suzaku, though. Blue's level 40. We might be able to do Suzaku. But okay. Let's first go and just ruin this poor Gumas's uh, day. Um, Hello. Look at that. Look at that hat. Oof. Also. Hmm. All right. Well, um, Gumas, unfortunately, I'm going to have to use. Oof. Surely that was some sort of crime. <laughs> this poor Gumas. The Gumas flew away. I, I Honestly, I feel kind of bad for doing that. Slightly. Ring of Earth Resistance. I mean, that's not really that useful. We did get Ancient Civilization parts, though, which we need. Um, I kind of want a Gumas hat as well, but eh, whatever. All right, let's head back to base and figure out what we're going to do next. We made it. All right, well, this is actually where this item would come in handy. Not having to just spend a bunch of time going back to base every time you go somewhere would be sick. So the Homeward Thundercloud allows you to be transported to the nearest base. But you can't use it to escape dungeons or anything like that, which I think is very fair. But yeah, very annoying that we have to uh, run all the way back. I want to be lazy. Now, I feel like there's a boss here, like right in this little area. I wonder if we should attempt any other bosses. I mean, I don't, would we even get points? No, we wouldn't because we already defeated them, right? So instead, let's see, let's go explore here we'll probably find a cave and then we can figure out what we're gonna do when we get all of our loot all right i will go there now all right i figured i should be um on the struggle bus a little bit today this okay or right, immediately we're gonna die i shouldn't even get on that unibolt yeah so i am at the gobfin's tooth um it is going poorly already <laughs> I want to catch the goblins though. Have we even caught a single goblin? Yeah. All right, speed racer. The God. Isn't that the annoying part about the goblins too? Is that like... 
There's what? There's too many. All right, let's go this way. Speed racer, come back here. Yeah, like why is there a hundred of them? All right, they're like <laughs> the most gang warfare pal on Palpagos. Oh my god. Um. All right, well, uh, I feel like we just... Okay, mm, maybe don't get hit by the, go the goblins. We also have a bunch of ammo to just burn on them. Wait, are they attacking each other? I swear that goblin just attacked his fellow goblins. All right, can we just catch one? I think we've already caught, caught one, but like, you know. Oh, is that a goblin? We have a goblin, Ignis. I don't know if we have a goblin. All right, speed racer, come back. Yeah, we. okay, so we apparently did have a goblin. Okay. Um. Ooh, yeah, you real upset. All right, can we catch another one? Yeah. I mean, at this point. Okay, so we finally are at the point where we don't instantly die to 100 goblins, which, thank God, we can actually, like, visit this area and not just be scared. Goodbye. How many palpables did we just get from this? Um, I don't want him to attack. Well, you died. Uh, you know what? I don't even feel bad because you're a god fan. Oh. Feels so nice to just rain destruction on them. I should do this more. Way more. Just running through god fans. What was the boss that was here? War sect? How many war sects do we even have? Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Let's actually go and demonstrate this feature as well. So if we go here. And we beat up this war sect. I mean, two war sects, right? Because we always have the double spawn going. If we come here, Brad is now out. Brad, I'm gonna need you to fuck up this war sect. All right? I think they're just gonna dash at me. Ow. So it actually shows. Okay, so we've captured three war sects. I don't know if you all have seen that. I, you know, I'm trying not to die at the same time. But yeah, you see how it shows. So I'm trying to demonstrate something. You know what? You need to go. Yeah, so it shows us three out of ten war sex. So make sure and use that feature instead of having to go to the pal deck every single time. Which was getting really old, and I would complain about it probably once a video. So, yeah. Uh, honestly, one, one of the best parts of the update. Just because it just helps to just not have to deal with that. Alright, we dodge that. All we need to do really is not get hit by their special move. Their Fucking horn drill bullshit that they're on. Ooh, okay, dodge a rock. Easy. I swear these war sex are just not taking that much damage. You look like... Yeah, you look... <laughs> Oops, I shot my own bird. Uh, I can't dodge any of this. Ooh. Would I have died if I got hit by that? Probably, right? <laughs> really? Okay. Has to be low enough now. Woo! Actually, no, it didn't even hit for that much. It only hit me for like a third of my HP. Alright, well, that one is gone. Artisan and hard skin, eh? Load the shotgun. Make sure it's prepared. And just like that, easy. Honestly, I kind of want to just go and rain more destruction down on these goblins. But we did say we would go north. So let's just keep going. All right. We cleared the area of the goblins. There's no more. Well, there's probably a way. There's probably like a hundred just like right across here. But the nice thing is we never got this uh, lift more effigy. So we could finally get it and not die. Because I remember wanting to get it. And I think I died twice. So, yeah. Hello. Hello, you're all stunned. You're... Hmm. Use air cannon. Wait. Oh, that won't die. Hmm. Loop moon. Loop moon. Loop moon? Now, how many of these have we caught? Six. God, this is such a good feature. Thank God. This is in few legendary spheres. I don't even care at this point. Oh, why is there so many? What? And we have to catch Hellzeph as well. Oops. I accidentally murdered one. Hmm. Don't just hate when you do that. 
<laughs> God, okay. So we have yet... I know for sure that we have not caught Hell Zephyr. It would be nice if we can. Oh, well. Okay, stop attacking it. Oh, yeah. And if you all don't know, there is a new item called the Ring of Mercy. Ouch. And there's also a skill also with the name Mercy in it. It, um always leaves the pal at 1 HP that you're trying to catch. So, again, make sure you get that. But yeah, uh, the Ring of Mercy. I saw someone say that you could apparently buy it from one of the traders. But yeah, the wearer's attacks will not reduce for target's health below 1. So that's very, very useful. Hello. I see that you're uh, running past me. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Did I really just miss like a point blank shot? Hmm. Okay, nice. Silver key. Dead Goblin. Always nice to see. Yeah. Oh, I didn't read the Hell Zephyr. Hell deck entry, though. Where is it? Okay, here he is. Jeez, that took a while. Now, it calls forth lightning from the depths of hell. One who dies from Hell Zephyr's Inferno is sure to be sent to the underworld. I don't want that to happen to me. Okay, let's see. So, the partner skills Wings of Death can be ridden as a flying mount, applies dark damage to the player's attacks while mounted. Oh yeah, another thing. That in the update, they nerfed the damage increase from the mounted pals. So you know when they enhance the stats of I think yeah, the play attack. It went from two to point to one point two. So from double to a twenty twenty percent increased. Which, you know, it's kind of fair because mounting the pal was way stronger than having a pal that, you know, you just like run you know fight like next to so i think that is a good change i think i'm probably on board with it even though it kind of you know kind of makes my life harder because one of the nice things about i okay yeah we need that ring all right another i think we should just go for these hell zephyrs while we're here um which i actually think hell zephyr looks sick i feel like do we want a main one we could mean one. Take a blizzard spike. Yeah, I knew I knew I knew it wasn't gonna die to that. Take a aqua boost. Alright, nice. And now we can just use our Nice. Our single shot sphere launcher. In stocks today. I fucked it up. <laughs> no. One thing that is annoying too about blues attacks is that because he has so many attacks. Can you not move? What is this? He has two attacks that have long cooldowns. Honestly, I don't even feel like I deserve to live after missing twice. This is just too embarrassing. Oh, you're... Oh, wait, you're alive. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah. I feel like we should have, like, one short cooldown, one long cooldown, and then one... No, one short, one medium, and one long cooldown. Kind of gives you this more uptime on the attacks, which I think is a lot better. Is that a bug or what? Why? Why am I just like glowing? I feel like the lantern wasn't that bright before. Nice. We should be able to catch them here. I always expect those tornadoes to fly up towards us, even though they don't. Because it hits real damn hard when it hits. Alright. At this point, we are done here. We keep going north. We see any lift mark effigies. We see a loop moon. Hello. Oh, we have already captured 10. Look at that. Didn't even have to waste time on those. There's a bunch of bees. Did we finish off Lizard Bee? Probably. Oh, they, why is there like a million bee guards in one place? Ah, uh, okay. There goes my HP. Brad, I need you. Actually, we should not mount him. Yeah, fuck this. <laughs> One thing I do want to do is play arrow. I missed. I missed. All right. I deserve to die. I've, I've been playing so poorly that honestly. <laughs> uh, but I mean, we do need to catch bee gods, right? I believe so. We need to catch one bee god. Wait, I accent I ac I use the wrong gun, but it has a 70% chance because it's a legendary um sphere. So that's actually still not bad. Okay. 
With that, we have finished the B-Gods and left a wake of destruction in our path. Alright, heading north again. Yeah, we need to find a cave, which, okay, it is daytime, so we can at least see, that, see it. This game gets surprisingly dark. Another thing I hoped, really hope they fixed, I didn't read the bug notes, not even in the video. So, um, I don't know if they fixed the bug that I was getting where my screen would get randomly dark and I'd have to reset. Or that bug where my screen would turn like an orangey pink. That was also very annoying. But yeah, hopefully best. Now, the one thing is, if we stand here using Flame Breath, it's a good chance we're going to die to a Mosander Punch. Okay. Stop! You're murdering him! 5 out of 10. Okay. We can do this. I feel like my weapon um, order is not very good. Stop it! No. Okay. But these legendary spheres feel so good. You just catch everything and you just don't need to care as much. Okay. Uh, okay, so we sealed Realm of the Guardian. We're heading towards there now. Ooh. Well, there's the Guardian. Who's the Guardian? Violet. I don't think we've even encountered this pal. I, I just had a feeling there was a boss there just because there was so much empty room. And there was, like, because there was, like, a boss here and a boss here. Boss here, boss here, boss here. You'd expect a boss to be in here, right? Just, you know. A little bit of deductive reasoning. Now, is there a cave down here? I always feel like there's caves in these kinds of areas where, you know, it's just, like, you're just, like, in a valley, kind of. What is this song? KK Cruising, Animal Crossing. Absolutely not. Okay, I skipped really far ahead in the recording. In, not in the recording, in the video that I'm using for the, um, our music, our background music. I will obviously have the video in the description, so you don't worry about it. Yeah, you can just check it out if you want to know what we're listening to. I mean, I won't have the exact song, but you know, I'll have the video. All right, Vlet is grass. All right, Brad, time to fuck up this. What is this exactly? Looks like it looks like it should be a fairy type, right? Brad, you're blocking my shots. What the fuck? You took no damage from that. Why is my shotgun hitting for like nothing? What is this? Ooh, that poisons you, by the way. Can you? Wait, you can spam that? Ow. Wait, the poison deals health damage. Okay, noted. That's That actually means you could die really easily to it. Look at that. I'm still poisoned. Dodge that. How did you use seed mine at the almost the exact same? Okay, well, I'm gonna die. But I'm wondering though, can we catch them? No, 4% chance. I am a fool for thinking such a thing. Okay, well, we have no assault rifle ammo. What we need at this point is for our shield to come back up. So I'm just gonna chill across here for a little bit. Brad, you doing okay? Okay. Um, goodbye, HP. I didn't need you anyways, it's fine. Can you fuck off? What is this? 24% chance. Alright, just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. Just don't get hit. Wait, I'm gonna die because of the poison, aren't I? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> I hate you, Pilot. Alright, I feel like we could have done that fight. I just took too much poison damage. Like, 100%. And then, also, I feel like I could have dodged way better. You know? Is both of these broken? No. Just one. Alright, let me put on some clothes and we will come back and fuck up this Vlet. One thing I realized we needed as well is, actually, before we go to Vlet, I want to use something other than Kilimari. 
So this is our team lineup for when we go. <laughs> it's literally just pure fire types and uh, Gobfin Ignis, which increases. Um, wait, oh no, increases players' attack power. Actually, that's still good. I, for some reason, I felt it was like um, Ruby where or whatever pile increases the damage on fire types. But okay, point being, and we will also have some legendary spheres. All right, so two Vlets, and. We are back. Okay, so the first thing we want to start off with is our Blaze Hall for one reason and one reason only. And you're going to see it right now. I was expecting you to start off with Ignis Rage, so... God, okay, this is what we wanted. Look at how it missed. Well, um... Hmm. Also, I should not have gotten hit by that, by the way. So we've already started off really poorly. Oh wait, you are poisoned. God, it's really hard to deal. Stop trying to corner me. I will die to that. Because um, because it deals percent max HP damage, and we just get hit so hard. God. Okay, what? Yeah, our, our shield is back. Okay, nice. And this is another. Oh. Well, there goes my shield again. We should really be attacking the same one, just because then we can get one away. Like, once we have one, it's fine. So. Nice. 27% chance. We also have no shotgun ammo. This is really bad. Okay, nice. We caught one. So, this from this point on, it's doable for sure. No shotgun ammo. Single shot rifle, though. Oh, yeah. Another thing they added. They added way more um, schematics, legendary schematics for guns that didn't have them. And I don't know exactly because they didn't specify, but I'm pretty sure we now have a legendary single shot rifle, which means I need to get that. Because the single shot rifle, I think, is the most fun gun. And it hits so hard. Like, look at this. 47. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> okay, obviously it wouldn't hit that hard on a level 38 pal in a hard mode, but you know, in theory, it hits really hard. Main thing is though, this is really annoying. What? Ragnarok. Brad, you ain't even getting called Brad. You're getting called Ragnarok because he was doing shit. Just in the corner, fucking off. Ah, <sighs> got these pals. Where's the monitoring stand for stop, don't ever stop hitting the enemy? I, I really need that. Uh, okay, we can 100% catch this one now. 35. I'm just trying not to burn through legendary spheres as well as waiting hit until they were lower. Um, dodge that. Nice. Yeah. Uh, like, as long as we don't just get hit by constant bullshit, like, we. These fights aren't that hard. As long as they stay in the pal sphere, these fights aren't that hard. Um, God damn it. Really? I also want to kill you. <laughs> He's just pissed me off. Wait, the seed disappeared because he um, got pulled into the sphere? Is that what just happened? I'm hoping he was on fire when I threw that. No. I feel like I would we have no ammo. I like preemptively <laughs> dodged, which is not a dodge. That's just jumping around, which is fine. But not what you want to do. Oh, you're not. All right. At this point, we should probably call off Ragnarok. The eight percent chance. All right, nice. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. All right, we desperately need ammo at this point, so let's just go and get that. Do we even have money for ammo? Ah. God damn it. They just hate being poor. I mean, really, what I can do instead is 100%, like, probably just go. Oh, yeah, we're going to overheat because we only have fire types. But yeah, we, I guess we, I could sell pals. As a matter of fact, I will do that for us. All right. We ended up with a ton of money, like an actually insane amount of money. 
we have like what 340 yeah 345 thousand gold which is just an insane number so we can get the ring of mercy now we can also get let's see multi-climate undershoot for sure look at, i mean it actually looks sick and i wish we could actually have the model on they did a really good i don't know if you noticed this but they updated the models for a lot of the items looks ridiculously good but they're whoever they have for artists <laughs> i know we all just keep like blowing pocket pair but probably for good reason i'm not gonna stop all right we have everything we need i guess i should get some rifle ammo as well right just in case all right let's find a cave to explore oh my god please tell me that cave is not closed ah thank god guys you don't know how long it took me to find a cave that wasn't closed. I encountered five in a row, even though we have caves marked on the map. Ah, it was like Edna from uh, The Incredibles said no caves. People think she said no capes, but she actually said no caves. The capes being in the scenes proce proceeding, uh, not proceeding. <laughs> After what she said has nothing to do with what she said. Now, okay. I'm hoping we actually get the ancient civilization core. Like, at least one, right? Because it was like, what? It was five for one of the new items. Now, hopefully, it drops, uh, you know, maybe like three, you know? Like, don't give me five at once necessarily, but like, don't give me one either. I feel like if you give me one, then you just troll in. Pocket pair. I keep thinking these green thingy majigs are... Um, what do you call it? <laughs> Lift my effigies. Also, why do they cavern mushroom? Is there something new? Mushroom that grows prolifically in caves can be made into healing medicine. Actually, that's sick. All right. Well, now we have cavern mushrooms. I, I I think I remember reading this in the patch notes, but like honestly, I've been so tired lately that like my memory is just non-existent all right so we've got some carbon mushrooms i don't know how many it takes to make whatever a healing potion uh a super potion <laughs> if you you know if you've ever played runescape but um we will just collect as many as we see why not it's not like we starving for space they each weigh one kilogram hmm. wait all right so we found we we found the um boss let's see if we can find some other stuff though so the boss is behind us if we go this way that's how that's kind of like how i remember it i just kind of like remember the last place i went to can i just hope i don't like somehow fuck it up you know but it also helps too if you just like keep going the same direction like you go left oh silver not silver shiny be god all right we're getting the shiny be god for sure brad Murder every single person. <laughs> <laughs> he thought he was gonna hit me with a bat and he just like, no, 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 don't kill yourself. Whatever. I'm upset. You know what that means? Yeah. You're jumping in the pal's fair. Okay, uh. <laughs> Am I dead? Am I dead? Okay, I'm not dead. Jesus Christ. Alright. That was, um, very sweaty. This guy's still alive. Oh, wait. I have to bring a mercy on. No one needs that 1 HP. Do we still need B gods? No, we, we already caught 10. Alright, well. Um. Free pal alliance developed. Yeah, so this is the ring of mercy. He's <laughs> looking at this. It's actually hilarious. Okay. Oh, yeah, that crossbow. His crossbow has, um, stuck with him. A captured human. On Papagos Island, capturing humans in Pals Fairs is considered inhumane. All right. If you say so. Why would that be inhumane? 
Yeah, we just... I don't even know why we fucking with these guys at this point. Alright, let's go. Is it, we didn't miss any chests, right? No, we didn't miss any chests. Whatever song is on right now, it sounds like Valheim, isn't it? Doesn't it? I feel like it does. What is the actual name? Rito Village, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You know, I really want to play that game. Uh, I don't have a Switch, so I have to obtain it. Um, I'll just stop there. But yeah, I, I want to play Breath of the Wild. I wonder if that would make a good Let's Play game. Might be. I would like to play Power World by killing this boss, but apparently there is no boss. Uh, are you gonna spawn or what? This cave has no boss. What? The cave has no boss. All right, well, that's a weird bug that they introduced somehow. Probably somehow related to this cavern mushroom. Somebody touched a piece of code they should not have. All right, well, I have never encountered that bug ever. I wonder though, even though there's no boss, can we still get the cores? Hmm. But, oh, but we did get Bellanor's um, fragment thingy-majig. I think you need like five to actually summon Bellanor, but that's good. Ancient technical manual. How many ancient technology points do we get? One? All right, I mean, I'll take it. Oh, and the training manual is also something that they added. Gives you XP. Now, this is a small amount. Let's give Sparky Stallion one. How much does he get? Oh, it actually is a very small amount of XP. That bar didn't move at all. All right, we could chill there today. The one thing I should sell you all, though, is that I did add a Wampo Botan that is going to do all a bulk of the transporting. Because look at how much we just have on the ground. This is us. They're just like pumping out power fluids at this point. In fact, I'm so glad I don't have to like farm power fluids anymore. But yeah, so we will chill there for today. I really want to get to Bellanoa though, the new raid boss that they added. So we'll probably end up doing a ton of caves next time around. But yeah, so hope you all enjoyed and uh, thank you very much for watching. All right, so you take care.